In this animation, we're going to examine the general types of transducers, as well as look at a practical example that uses a phototransistor. We'll begin by defining the term transducer. A transducer is a device that converts one form of energy into another form of energy. Transducers allow external stimulus to be brought into an electric circuit where it can be processed or conditioned. Transducers also allow electric circuits to provide stimulus to the external environment. Electromagnetic transducers convert magnetic field intensity or electromagnetic waves into electrical signals. Some examples are the Hall effect sensor and the antenna. Electroacoustic transducers such as speakers or microphones convert electrical signals into sound waves or sound waves into electrical signals. There are also electromechanical transducers such as the strain gauge or rotary motor. Photoelectric transducers convert electrical signals into light or light into electrical signals. Thermoelectric transducers convert temperature into electric signals. Some examples are the thermocouple or the resistive temperature detector or RTD. Here we have the schematic symbol for a phototransistor. This device is a type of photoelectric transducer that can respond to changes in light intensity. A phototransistor acts in the same way that a regular transistor does. The major difference is that it does not have a base connection. The function of the base in a regular NPN transistor is provided by way of a lens which captures light in the case of the NPN phototransistor. We will now take a look at an example of how a phototransistor can be used to provide stimulus in response to changes in light intensity. Here we have an ambient light detector circuit that utilizes an NPN phototransistor. This type of circuit is often used to provide a control signal that automatically turns on or off external lighting depending on the ambient light levels present. In the daylight, the ambient light level is high enough that the phototransistor is conducting. This essentially connects the circuit's output to ground. As night falls, the ambient light level will no longer be sufficient enough to cause the phototransistor to conduct. With no path to ground, the applied voltage now appears at the output of the circuit. This high level output signal is now used to energize the external light circuit, which in turn turns on the external lighting. This simple type of detector circuit can be used for a wide variety of applications that are dependent upon light intensity levels.